Welcome to part two of this video guide on how to create your first database table. Tables are the foundation of any app that you develop inside your Caspio account. This is where all of your data will reside. To build your first table, click on the new table link to begin. Next, let's add the fields that we'll want to use when capturing data. I want this table to store contact related information, so naturally I'll begin by adding a contact ID field at the very top. For my data type, I'll select random ID. This will randomly generate a unique ID for each contact inside my table. In a database application, this is commonly referred to as a primary key. Every table that you create must have a primary key, and you should get into a habit of moving that field to the very top of your list. Next, let's add first name, last name, title, phone, email, contact method, company, address, comments. For my comments field, I'll turn this into a text 64 data type so that we can capture more data inside this field. Date added. I'll turn this field into a timestamp so that we can automatically stamp when this contact was added to the table. And you're welcome to include other fields if needed. It's completely up to you what data you wish to capture inside this table. Next, let's click on Save. Let's call this table CM underscore TBL underscore contacts. As for the table name, it's completely up to you what naming convention you decide to go with. What I like to do is I like to abbreviate my application name, so CM as the prefix, then TBL for table, and then the name of my table, and what information I'll be storing inside that table. When done, click on Finish, and you should be able to see this table listed in the Tables menu. To populate the table with data, we'll need to go to Data Pages to build our web form. Join me in the next video to learn how to do that. I'll see you there.